is a rain garden? Uh, well, it's a depression and it captures uh, rainwater, usually from a hard surface or from a gutter downspout, and uh, it's planted with native plants. Those of us that live here all know that our drinking water uh, is beneath the ground in an aquifer, and so whatever pours down through the soils uh, ends up in that aquifer and it is our drinking water. And then also that same groundwater uh, goes out into the estuaries. And that's why rain gardens are so important here on Cape Cod. We plant them up with native plants and the roots help absorb the nutrients that come through with that rainwater. A traditional um, European pasture grass lawn, the root systems are less than an inch deep into the ground. Um, once we start planting some of these native grasses, native wildflowers, we're looking at root systems that get, in the case of switchgrass, 12 feet deep. Prairie drop seed, 6 feet deep. The plants that were chosen for this particular rain garden were chosen specifically to tolerate periods of rain inundation, periods of drought, as well as potential periods of standing water in really heavy rainfall events. One of the reasons that we really want to promote native plants is uh, because of their wildlife value. So our native plants uh, are really what our animals and insects have evolved with and they provide much more valuable habitat. Having a, a landscape full of exotics doesn't provide uh, much of any wildlife habitat. A rain garden is functional as well as an aesthetic garden piece, something that you can um, design to provide color throughout the season. It can be a really multifunctional piece in your garden. For a homeowner, if you want to determine the size of your rain garden, you need to take a look at your property. If you're collecting it from a downspout, take a look at your roof and what parts of the roof uh, collect the rainwater that go down that downspout. And then estimate what the roof size is. And then there are lots of calculators online that you can simply just Google rain garden roof runoff calculation and um, you can plug the square footage in of your roof and it'll tell you how big your rain garden needs to be. And the rain amount that you need to plug in is about one inch per storm. We're talking about little residential um, homeowner type rain gardens. It's not uh, rocket science as they say. The rain garden that we did, we hand dug. Uh, it was a little bit of effort, but it was hand dug and the soils were put up on one side. There was enough soil to create a berm on the lower side of the rain garden because you don't want the rain garden to simply overflow. In some larger cases, you may need a contractor to do the work. We're gathering the rainwater that comes out of a corner downspout and because our soils are very sandy, the downspout water would simply just percolate where it falls. So we've connected a trench from the downspout to the rain garden to direct the rainwater away from the foundation. And so the water doesn't completely just go right through the soils. We put in a little pond liner, a piece of rubber liner along our ditch with gravel on top. And so that directs the water from the downspout to the rain garden. So within the rain garden, because our soils are so sandy in our location, We've added some natural leaf mulch. We mix that in a 50-50 mix with our sandy soils to give it some um, plant matter to help retain some moisture. 